To understand the complex patterns of water movement up and down the beach, they're using mobile current recorders called drifters. So what exactly are drifters? A uh, drifter is a, a unit that is designed to drift through the water, mimicking the flow pattern. And where they go is being recorded with a little GPS recorder in here, which is like a little sat-nav. And the data that it's collecting, so the position of the, of the drifter, is recorded on the small memory card. At any one time, we might have 15 of these in the water, uh, all recording that, 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 the, where they move to. But then we, we do it for 20 to 30 days, uh, a couple of hours each day to deal with all the different types of conditions. And you can sort of imagine if this floats around for maybe two, three hours, you get a very, very good pattern. Good map, you map a very good pattern of where the currents are. In addition to the drifters, Hert and his team use static measuring rigs. These measure the speed of the currents at different tides. Once they've been deployed, the team send the drifters out from the shore, with Dickon and his colleague on hand to help from their boat. The university team release the units in sequence, and they begin to drift around on the currents. The ones that come back in again and, and run aground, we take them out. And the ones that go too far out, Dion and I will bring that one in again. So Liz, can you see that green one right at, right at the back there? Oh, good grief, that's gone really far out. So, so that's basically taken by the rip current and just been moved offshore. It's amazing, compared to the other ones, yeah, it just shot out, out there, didn't yes. they? Gert has already recorded more than 200 million measurements. But I want to know how close he is to predicting when and where rip currents may strike. Well, from up here, it's kind of obvious where the yes, rip currents yeah, are. You can see them so well, can't you? Can you can see the blue streaks and then yeah. the white patches in the middle are where the blue streaks are, is where the waves are not breaking, and that's where the rip currents are. So there's quite a few on this beach at any one time? Yes, there's usually about five, six, seven rips on the whole beach. OK, let's talk data now. OK. First, the info from the static rigs. Got a simple, simple diagram showing two things. Yeah. The top panel shows the water depth, going from zero to eight metres water depth, because the tides are very big. So we've got tides high tide. Tides coming in, tides low, going out. Tides coming in, tides going out. So OK, great. Two tidal cycles. Yeah. And the, the bottom one's the interesting one, because that shows the velocity, the strength of the rip current. So the speed to, of the water. Together with, yeah, over that day. So as the water depth goes up, the current goes down. OK, so when no. there's a lot of water, you don't have a lot of waves breaking. Is that right? When it's high tide, high the waves tide. are not breaking on the bars. Be and therefore, uh, the currents are turned off. OK, when it's low tide, you've got shallower water, oh. the waves are going to break over the sandbars. And they're going to drive the rip it's currents. It's going to create a rip current. Yes. And next, the data from the drifters. Well, we're going to show you some movement of those drifters over a two-hour time period okay, in one of those rip systems. Mm -hmm. We colour coded them, yeah. so the blue ones do one sort of pattern. They go out in the rip and then they come back on themselves. Mm -hmm. The red ones are doing a, a similar pattern, but on the other side of the rip. They also go out and then they come back in again. And these green ones all pop out. They break through the surf zone and they're out in the And that's water. it. They stay out. Yeah. I would have thought there would only be one pattern. No. Oof, no. You go out to sea and that's the end of that. Well, that's the thing about the dynamics that changes from, from day to day, but also from minute to minute. From minute to minute.